right, what's up everybody? Here are my thoughts on Sony's press conference. Overall, it was okay. It was pretty good. Um, Uncharted Lost Legacy looked interesting. I'm not completely sold on an Uncharted game that's not starring Nathan Drake. So that's, you know, take that as it is. Depends on who you are, if you like it or not. Um, the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC looked amazing. We saw uh, Behemoth. We saw the Chargers. We saw possibly new machines. It looked awesome, but for some reason Sony didn't have their audio right, so I didn't really get to hear what the plot was going on. I watched it later and still didn't figure out much about it, but it looks awesome. Anything Horizon, I'm all about it. Uh, Days Gone looked pretty cool. It was, it's a, you know, a zombie game. But as far as the zombie game goes, it looked pretty awesome. Because you could set, like, show the guy setting a bear trap, and then one of the enemies screamed and alerted a horde of zombies. That was awesome. He blew open the enemy's wall to let in all the zombies. And they just took out the enemies for him which was also pretty awesome there was a zombie bear at the end which looked pretty cool but at the same time that seems to be a theme of this year's E3 because we also got a radioactive bear in that metro game so that was kind of funny that they both had you know augmented bears Monster Hunter looked alright. It was... I've never been really that big of a fan of the Monster Hunter franchise. They... This one looked more graphically bed, like upgraded than... The past ones, but it's also the past ones have been on 3DS that I've seen. It was really weird that Monster Hunter was at Sony's, because I don't know if they have like a spoken agreement with Nintendo or if it was just like kind of an unspoken thing that they did all the Monster Hunters on Nintendo consoles. But it's still weird to see at Sony's, and it was a very poor choice to like go mining for minerals and stuff for a trailer that's not something to really show off for to get people excited so that one kind of did not excite me it was a eh, you know it's monster hunter i'm not that into it so i wasn't too enthralled by that and then we got the shadow of the colossus remake which oh my god that looks amazing I'm kind of up in arms about buying the game a third time since, you know, I got the original, got the remaster, and now I'm going to get the remake, which it's kind of funny that the same company that did the remaster was just like, you know what, this is not good enough. We got to remake this masterpiece, which I'm all about it. Shadow of the Colossus is one of the best games of all time. Period. Then we got some story info on Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which looked pretty, pretty cool. Because uh, most fighting games typically don't seem to have any story at all, and this one seemed to have a pretty cool story. And, I mean, Ultron fused with Sigma with the Infinity Stones, that's pretty ridiculous. And the fact that they have to, like, go get Thanos' help in prison was pretty awesome. Then we got the Call of Duty game of the year. We got Call of Duty World War II, which... You know, take that as you will. I personally do don't like the 
Call of Duty franchise. Not that it, they're not bad games, I'm just not that into it. And lately they've been going very futuristic, so it was interesting to see them going back to World War II in this one. Maybe it'll be pretty awesome. They always play really well. Uh, the controls are always really tight and fluid and everything, so, you know, it'll probably be a good game for Call of Duty fans. I just, I'll be taking a pass on that one. And then we got the PlayStation VR segment, which I did not care for in the least. It all looked really, like, I mean, I know it's a gimmick, so it makes sense why it looked gimmicky, but it still looked gimmicky even for that. Like, we got the inpatient game where you you seem to be a mental patient, or what you think is a mental patient. I, the game looked weird. Like, there were a lot of weird doctors and stuff. We got that Moss game where you seem to look like a forest guardian thing like you look like the forest people with masks from Princess Mononoke and you were guiding around this mouse and the game was called Moss which does not sound that appealing to me for a game title and then we got the big reveal of the Final Fantasy 15 fishing game That looked so bad. Like, the graphics did not look that great, and the gameplay is just like really a, a, a fishing game. Come on. But then we got big news with the God of War 4 trailer, and they showed off a lot of a lot more stuff like they showed a lot of Kratos whooping ass he throws his axe and comes back to him Mjolnir style he had this cool looking shield that just like spun open and he was like bashing people with it uh, his son seems to be tagging along with him the whole time which seems weird but the gameplay it might work kind of like uh, The Last of Us where you do your thing and he does his like maybe he is just shooting arrows from the bushes or something but it looks interesting to, especially to see Kratos be in a role we've never seen him in before where he's palling around with his son and trying to keep his anger like tempered to not you know murder his son so that game looked awesome. And then they showed the Serpent of the World, and that looked even more awesome. And then Kratos' son said, hey, maybe he's our friend or something. And then Kratos, because you could tell Kratos was about to just straight up murder it like he did with the Leviathan in the original God of War. So that was really cool to see that it was not necessarily an enemy, and Kratos is kind of learning to talk before he just murders but that that game looked amazing and then we got another look at that Detroit becoming human game which did not sit well with me it looks like it has taken a turn from last year and not for the better in my opinion because last year it looked like it looked like a kind of LA Noir type game where you basically it looked like LA Noir mixed with Heavy Rain but with androids like it looked like a murder mystery game where you inspect evidence and find out if people are lying and stuff like it looked like a very awesome mix of those two games and now we get it this trailer and it's just like some douchey looking guy with a douchey looking um, personality just being like well we gotta free all the androids riot and I I did not I don't 
they kind of had me excited last year and this year I'm just like uh, I'll pass to that one but I, it was kind of cool how it showed all the options like he saw himself with the silhouette climbing the rafters or running away or whatever so that was kind of cool how it kind of will seem to give you previews of your options so I'll give it that that did look cool but ultimately the game has has me soured on it because it looks like it's changed into something completely different and for the worse then we got our first look at more of the plot of Destiny 2, I guess you'd say, because we got the like gameplay footage a uh, few weeks ago, so that was awesome. And then today we get the uh, story reveal, and the bad guy is one of those big like space turtles <laughs> that they called them from the Destiny 1 trailer. Um, it looked pretty good. It looks like it has a lot more plot than the first one already. Which is, you know, saying something. Because the first one really, ugh, take it, it was, it was what it was. There wasn't too much plot in it. But the second one seems to have a lot more in it. The enemy is the enemy, and he's not just evil to be evil, it seems. Which, that might change, but. Like, the, it really looked... I was really interested in the story, and the first one I wasn't interested in it at all. I was just like, the gameplay looks awesome, but I have no idea what's happening. And then that continued when I actually beat the game, so that's not a good sign. So it looks like Bungie's learned from their mistakes, hopefully, and implemented them into Destiny 2. I'm a little bummed out that there aren't new classes. Like, you still have the Titan, Warlock, and I forget what the, the Hunter class. Like, I was hoping for more classes instead of just more skills. Like, that's kind of lame to me. But, I guess people liked it, so. But yeah, Destiny 2 looks good. I'm not gonna get it at launch. I might get it later. I might wait for the Game of the Year edition. But Destiny 2 looks pretty good. And then we get to the big reveal of the night, in my, the biggest, in my opinion, of E3 so far with the Sony Spider Man game. And this game looks amazing. It looks spectacular. It looks. Uh, it's another Spider Man word sensational it just, the game looked awesome and I, I wasn't a hundred percent sold on his costume last year with the white spider on his chest so I was like eh, it looks kind of like like an anti-venom suit but now uh, I don't know if they did some more work on it or what but the, the costume looks awesome now maybe it just grew on me but it looks pretty cool and the gameplay looks amazing. I don't know if it's open world or if it's just open area. Like maybe you get put in a set area and then you can go all around it however you want. Or maybe it is open world and they just, you know, weren't exploring too much of it because they had helicopters all over the place, stuff was falling, people had guns. It all looked awesome. We got to see some takedowns Spider-Man did where he was like on the rafters and he would just wrap someone up in web. That was awesome. We got to see some of his combat, some of the way the spider fighting, which looked really cool. Um, it had a lot of quick time events, which I'm not a fan of. So hopefully, hopefully there aren't too many of those in the actual game but overall the graphics looked awesome the gameplay looked awesome Mr. Negative is one of the big is what appears to be the big bad like bad guy of the game 
maybe he's not, maybe it was just that mission, but it's really cool that they're putting lesser known people like, like Mr. Negative into the mix. But overall, and then they had that, that Miles Morales stinger at the end, which was really cool because he's the half black, half Latino Spider-Man in the Ultimate Universe, which a lot of people love him. I've always thought he was kind of cool. I always, Peter Parker has my heart though. But that's my impressions on the Sony conference. I thought it was overall pretty good. Uh, the only three games that really, well four games actually, that really stood out to me were in order. Shadow of the Colossus remake, because I've already played it and twice at least. Uh, Days Gone actually got me pretty excited for it. God of War 4 looks incredible and then Spider-Man is number one. Spider-Man has me the most excited from what I've seen so far. But that's it for my Sony opinions. Hope y'all enjoyed them. If you liked them, give a like and a subscribe. And tell me what you liked in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Alright, have a great day.